Hey guys, it's so I'm trying something different. You know, I've always kind of wanted to make a reaction video toward a Nintendo Direct because this is like a professional kind of company, you know? Like, they make games, they're a big name, uh, and they love uh, taking shame, I guess, for a lack of a better thing to rhyme. Even though they clearly do have, they have been taking some shame for the last few, few years, in my opinion. But I, I just want to, I want to throw in my own two cents for uh, whatever Nintendo has cooked up today. I've just, I've always wanted to make one of these videos, just kind of give my two cents of what could come, or whatever's coming down the pipeline, my own personal experiences with things. So yeah, if uh, if it floats your boat, yeah, feel free to keep watching. I'm just gonna splice up some juicy edits of whatever Nintendo's got us show today. Maybe give my two cents about games I think about are interesting or something like that. I've been unspoiled. Uh, today for once in my life. I really don't know what's coming in this Nintendo Direct, but I don't know. I'm just looking for new avenues for this kind of stuff. I've always wanted to just kind of like throw my own reactions toward Nintendo's like little uh, presentations that they make. I love like poking out little things I find in them or just reacting to little announcements I like. So if you like this video, feel free to give it a like or if you don't want to see this video ever again or think I'm just being a cringe lord or something like that, just give it a dislike so so I know just so I know in the future not to do this cuz it takes a lot of it takes a lot of work out of me. It editing's a whole different process of its own. So I'm trying to kind of looking for stuff to kind of bridge the gap of like, you know, content. Let's, let, let, let's freaking, let's freaking go. Due to COVID-19, COVID-19, holy crap, don't remind me, Nintendo. Man, it's been a hot second since I've had somebody mention those words to me. Fire Emblem, Fire Emblem, got it. So yeah, actually I got, um, I got into some of the Fire Emblem games this past summer because I'm like kind of interested in intelligent systems um, I got into their Game Boy ones a bit. I actually kind of like those. Uh, the new ones, I don't know, man. There's something about Fire Emblem these days. I, I wouldn't say that they fell off, but they clearly had a demographic shift, man. Like, uh, don't get me wrong, it still is a tactics game at the end of the day. But I feel like Fire Emblem today is more like an over-glorified waifu simulator. Dude, look at Marth, man. This dude hasn't looked this fine since codenamed Steam. Fire Emblem Engage. No way. <laughs> I'm calling it right now. The, the Twitter is gonna be Fire Emblem enraged with this one. <laughs> Bull crap! That guy didn't miss. Oh wait, he did miss! Holy crap! They already had me covered. Dude, I always wondered what Yoshi would look like as a dude. It takes two. Okay, this this a lot of people like this game actually. I haven't gotten to play it myself yet, but I do see the appeal for it. Um. I heard it won Game of the Year, which was pretty surprising to me. I mean, yeah, it definitely looks fun. I definitely love games like Mario Kart Double Dash, like the co-op, and games that you gotta really work together, and this is definitely one of those games. Oh, look, a Wii U game. Oh, wait, didn't this already come on the Switch? I don't know. It's frickin' Fatal Frame, that's what it was. What is this, Xenoblade? Oh yeah, it's it's Xenoblade. Uh, that girl looks really thin, like unhealthily thin. I I just gonna say it. Is that freaking Mountain Dew? She's freaking chugging Mountain Dew. What the heck? You ever wonder why it's called Xenoblade of all things? Why is it called Xenoblade? What is a Xenoblade? Like, are the blades are they called the Xenoblades? Get drawn. Is it freaking drawn to life, dude? Oh, it's SpongeBob. SpongeBob, me boy! Dude, I'm actually kind of- I'm kind of hyped for this game. Oh, look at that! It's actually looking pretty polished! I do like the, uh, I do like the little Band Geeks outfit. I love Band Geeks. It's like one of my favorite SpongeBob episodes. This is- I'm getting some Battle for Bikini Bottom vibes with this. This is pretty awesome. <laughs> Literally, Squidward was the only one that provided his voice in the trailer. I, I, I guess that says something, man. <laughs> Okay, I thought this was like a fighting game at first, but no, it's literally just like a rhythm game with like- <laughs> Look at this man! He looks so dead inside! What is that dude wearing? That dude freaking looks like Carver from freaking Fortune Street! What in the world? <laughs> Ever just see a game and just go, that's Unity, that's Unity, that's Unity! <laughs> <laughs> Developed in the Unity engine. That's this game. Okay, I've actually heard about this game. I haven't gotten to play it myself, but it definitely does look cute and interesting. It's just one of those games that I don't think I'll ever get unless if I get it for free on Xbox Live or something, but it's cute. Definitely, uh... 
definitely one to look out for, I suppose. I've heard good things about it. Oh my goodness, guys, the new WALL-E game is looking actually really cool. Okay, I've no joke, I've actually kind of wanted to check out Front Mission. Um, I don't know, this is just one of those games that I've always been kind of interested in, but I just, I never really had that time to actually get into. It's just like, I'm kind of, it's one of those games that I would buy this if it was physical in front of me and at a severely discounted price. I would get into it, but I'm not going to go out of my way to experience, like, one of these. Front mission first. Don't you mean the first front mission? Why is it called first if the second one's front mission two? It's such a stupid naming convention. Alright, guys, take your bets. Is it going to be a Harvest Moon game, or is it going to be Story of Seasons? You can show me this image. I know it's going to be one of them. I know for a fact it's going to be one of them. But take your bets. Which one's it going to be? I'm going to say Story of Seasons. I don't think Harvest Moon can show its face in a Nintendo Direct anymore. Uh, I'm going that. I'm going that. All in on Story of Seasons. 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 After nearly 20 years of beloved farming... Yeah! I don't know why I'm so excited I'm not. <laughs> Oh my good! You need you oh my god, you get older as the game goes on. It's just like real life. Freaking get that tomato, milk that cow. I don't know, man. Story of seasons, a wonderful life. I cannot wait for the reviews. When a game has when a name when a game has something like wonderful or ultimate or something like that, it is just screaming to get reviewed bombed. Oh, we got splatted. We're getting splatted hard. I can't even read that and I know we're getting splatted. What the heck? Do Why do they look like that? I'm gonna be honest, I haven't been tuning into the splat. I don't know, I, I, that's a that's a design. I, I don't know, I, that's a face only a mother could love, man. Okay, that's uh, very cool. They got the Fortnite dancing in splat. That's amazing. They, they got the Fortnite dances. Makes the kids happy. So, squids, what did you think? What did I think? I splatted my pants. I wish. Please take a look at this. Oh, he snapped his fingers. It's gonna be a big reveal, goods. It's gonna be a big one. Oh, no, it's just gonna be triangle strategy. I don't know. Wait, wait, wait. What do you, wanna, what do you guys want to think? Octopath Traveler or triangle strategy? I can't tell the difference. It's gonna be a sequel to one. Okay, yep, 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 there you go. Squeenix RPGs are such an acquired taste. It's just like, you really need, like, they're, they're, they're for you or they are absolutely not for you. And it's like, for me, it's just not for me. I think the lowest I think I'll ever go to a Squeenix RPG is like Super Mario RPG. I'm not gonna lie. Squeenix, what are you doing not making Fortune Street 2? Do I have to do all your work? Oh wait, oh my goodness, is this? Harvest Moon? Is this Harvest Moon too? Like, is this Harvest Moon as well? Phoenix Labs Fae Farm. No, it's just a Harvest Moon-like. Oh my goodness, did you guys see his little face? Look at that texture! That looks like a tech I'm not gonna lie, that's that's like a texture that I would do. It's just such a dumb face. It's such a dumb face and it's such an obvious texture. They look like little Duplo characters. Are those actual players or are they comms? I feel like if this was an MMO, all of those characters would have been jumping. There's no if they gave them an option to jump, there's no uh, there's no way that they would not be jumping to wherever they need to be. That's just a natural thing in video games. Squinix, what are you doing? That's not making Fortune Street 2, man. Oh no, the poor snake lady got butt hurted. It's not okay. It's not okay, Nintendo. Don't show that in my Nintendo Direct. Okay, I am not gonna lie. Mario and Rabbits does not need to go so hard as a game. I mean, it's literally XCOM. XCOM minus the grid. Like, literally not even- not even XCOM is at this point yet. It, it just- why does this game exist? They just took XCOM, they slapped Mario on it, 
and it kind of works, I'm not gonna lie, it pretty much just is XCOM. Those are some cursed Lumas, man. I'm actually kind of looking forward to this one. I'm not gonna lie though, there's just something so weird about this game that I actually kind of like it. Like, it's probably one of the biggest guilty pleasure games I think I've ever experienced. Like, this game is actually kind of not bad. <laughs> it, it has zero reason to be as good as it actually is. For being a not, for basically being baby's first XCOM, it really isn't that bad of a game, I'm not gonna lie. Why are there so many, why are there so many Harvest Moon games? So many freaking Harvest Moon games on this thing. It's like, yo, guys, did you see the Animal Crossing game is doing insanely good? Let's just do Animal Crossing. If you got a name that sounds like Animal Crossing, we'll freaking make it. Exceed Farmer 199. Pump that crap out on the Nintendo Switch. You see how these games are selling these days? Freaking Link is playing this game, man. Rune Factory 3 Special. And guess what? You're getting Rune Factory Plus, a new Rune Factory series in development too. Why not? There you go, Rune freaking heck. More N64 games on the way. Here you go, guys. More N64. It's like Pilot Wings. Pilot Wings 64. Pilot Wings is kind of fun. Why are they showing? Okay, never mind. I just want to go back. Of all the things they're showing from Pilot Wings, they're freaking showing the like the hang gliding. What? <laughs> it's such a weird thing. I'd be like showing Star Fox and you're only showing like the menus. I just find that so strange. All right, just keep going, Mario keep going. Party. You got Mario Party. Freaking want to ruin your Switch controllers. Go ahead, you got freaking Mario Party. And two, Mario Party one and two and three. Waluigi's just freaking island, dude. <laughs> Okay, okay, can we just talk about this for a second? We got Mario Party 1, 2, and 3 as the NSO Expansion Pass. Now, I get it. N NSO Expansion, nobody's really gonna own NSO Expansion unless if it's like a pure luxury item to them. But still, they have Mario Party Superstars on this thing. And even though I think, the, I think that the originals are kind of better than Superstars, I think it's just kind of funny and almost insulting to people that bought Superstars. Um and have NSO expansion, because you literally bought Superstars for basically what is like a little taste of the first three Mario Parties. And here are the first three Mario Parties just given pretty much out for free. I'm mean, not for free, but it's given out in a program, and it's just like, wow, there you go. I, I just find that funny. I find that funny and a little weird at the same time. Oh, that's interesting. They're they're putting Mario Party 1 and 2 together, and they're putting 3 on its own later. That's actually kind of clever. Let's see that again. I mean, honestly, this really isn't a bad schedule. Looking at it, you got Pilot Wings and Mario Party 1 and 2. If you're going to have one, you're going to have the sequel. I don't know. They're just kind of there. Mario Party is just kind of... I feel like it's great that we are getting Mario Party... Two and or Mario Party one and three. Usually two is pretty much just takes the spotlight of both of them, and I'm so glad because I get that people love Mario Party two. Like it's probably the best of the trilogy, but it's also kind of like the jack of all trades and master of none of the Mario Parties. So I don't know. It's just fun to see that we're getting both Mario Party one and three. Mario Party one is just a freaking heck of a time, man. Like it is. It's not a good game, but it's a hell of a Mario Party, and three is definitely good too. I, I like 3 for the for what it does. I like 3 for what it does. I feel like it gets a lot of hate. Um, but yeah, it just, I just I like what it did. I like what 3 did. I like the new direction. I like the kind of refining that Mario Party 3 did. So I'm glad that, that it, they're all becoming accessible to more people. Because I don't think people have like access to play the N64 Mario Parties as much. I mean, I just bought the original N64 Mario Parties for the actual N64 just to actually like experience them all. Um, yeah, and they're definitely games. <laughs> they are definitely games. And, and just having having Excite Bike 64 and I don't really think anybody's going to be clamoring for Excite Bike 64. It's probably just going to be one of those games that people check out because they have NSO. Um Kids are probably going to eat that crap up for Pokemon. That's that's all right. I mean, I'm I'm looking way too hard into this, man. It's just a freaking release schedule of old games. Nice screw attack logo. Oh. It's freaking Goldeneye. 
They freaking did it. That's freaking funny. Okay, I actually played GoldenEye for the first time this summer. Um, coming soon. Okay, that's what it says. I actually played GoldenEye for the first time this summer. And even though it definitely showed its age, as somebody who has played a lot of the rare... Um, rare, like, first-person shooters at the time, like, Perfect Dark. It's so strange, like, not having ever played GoldenEye and having been, play like, having played games like, uh, Perfect Dark. Because it literally is, like, kind of more of that game. And I, I think that's interesting. So this, this announcement's probably not gonna get too many people excited. All things considered, I just think it's funny. I don't know. With online play, dude? Ah, that's kind of fun. That is kind of fun. Okay. Wouldn't it not have online play, though? Like, doesn't even Mario Kart 64 technically have online play? Like, is that even a surprise? Like, literally, that would be insulting if it didn't have online play, honestly. But still, that's that's cool. I I'm, I hope that there are people excited about GoldenEye uh, coming back. I mean, it's definitely probably um, the most excited I've been in this entire Direct, other than for freaking SpongeBob, of all things. You know, I really love when they go, like, rapid fire on these games that kind of look like they could have been made with some thought. It's like, well, one of these might be the new Undertale. You never know. You ever just wonder if, like, all of these anime games, like, come from somewhere? Like, is there some factory in Japan that's, like, churning out these 3D anime models? Like, you, you just gotta think. They're just beating the crap out of this poor sheep! What has the sheep ever done to them? I want to see what that sheep has done to them, man. That was- that was cruelty. That was flat-out cruelty. I can't even read what that says. Elizarias 3? Oh boy, we got Mario Kart, boys! Oh, look at that! Look at that freaking snow! Why? It's always so bad. It's always- I love these because it's always like, we're gonna show one more Mario Kart stuff, guys, and it first image is always so jarringly bad. I am actually replaying, uh, DS, uh, right now, as a matter of fact, just coincidentally. Wow, I, I have to- I have to admit! This is looking really fine. It looks like it's heading in a good place. I mean, I'm kind of excited. I mean, Peach's... I like Peach's Gardens. It's kind of like one of those stages that I kind of wish was realized in Mario Kart, and it's kind of cool to see that. Oh, well, that's it! And they're not even showing us all of it? Just two stages? I, I guess that's it. I guess that's it. We'll see more when they, when they send more, I guess. Oh my goodness, is Camelot making another golfing game on the Nintendo Switch? It's freaking... Let's go golf! Let's go golf. Let's see, Camelot. What do you got in ya? Wait a minute. This is freaking Switch Sports. I legit didn't even realize. I thought this was like some kind of, you know. Oh my goodness. I feel so dumb. <laughs> I genuinely thought that this was just another one of Camelot's golfing games. Like, they don't just make Mario Golf. They make so many other golfing games. And it's just like, well, Nintendo's not hiring us anymore for Mario Golf. Guess we gotta make another one. I genuinely thought that that was just another Camelot game. And no, this is Nintendo Switch Sports. I didn't even, it didn't even occur to me. I, it genuinely did not occur to me that this is this is Nintendo Switch Sports. That's just that's hilarious to me. Wow, I kind of feel dumb, but at the same time, it's I just find that funny. Next, we have a special guest. A special guest? Oh boy! Hello. Oh, it's Miyamoto! Look at that. He, he's looking so old. <laughs> Oh my goodness, Miyamoto! I'm sorry, <laughs> that came out of nowhere. Oh man, I'm sorry. Look, he's he's getting up there in the years. You, he's just like one of those old dogs that you just like those really really old dogs. <laughs> he's getting up there. Oh man, I, I'm sorry. It probably sounded a little insulting to call somebody old, but he's been in the business for a while, and he, he's definitely getting there. He's getting there. Yeah, we know about Pikmin Bloom. Why are you telling us this now? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Are they actually going to reveal Pikmin 4? The only way that they would be- The only reason why they would be talking about specifically Pikmin Bloom is literally if they're going to announce Pikmin 4. This is- This is absolutely filler unless if this is actually going to go into Pikmin 4. 
I mean, I guess they did never technically reveal this in a Nintendo Direct, but there's like, there's no way that they would be talking about Pikmin this much, unless that there's going to be some huge Pikmin announcement. Now to the main event. Please take a look at this. Roses are red. My existence is a chore. Where the heck is Pikmin 4? Oh my god. Oh my god. It's Pikmin 4. It's Pikmin 4. It's freaking Pikmin 4. I, I'm sad. I'm happy and sad at the same time. I can't say that anymore. Where the heck is Pikmin 4? There the heck is Pikmin 4. Pikmin... It's gonna be a 4. It's Pikmin 4! Ah, yeah, I wish I was a little bit more excited, honestly. I kind of saw that from a mile away. <laughs> we didn't even get to see much, either. It's just kind of, uh... It's just kind of there. Uh, I mean, I guess Pikmin 4 is upon us. Uh, that's kind of exciting. I mean, I'm a huge fan of, like, the Pikmin series. So I, I feel like this should be a little bit more surprising, but... I'm gonna be honest, I'm kind of not surprised. Um... I don't know. Yeah, I mean, it's just like, yeah, Pikmin 4, it was supposed to be here for a while. That's a weird logo. That's a really weird Pikmin logo. Like, I really hope that's not final. Because all the other Pikmin logos are actually, like, flower-based. That looks really cursed to me. Um, but yeah, literally all we saw was, like, this, like, look at this. I mean, to be fair, we really haven't seen much. We really haven't seen much at all. Like, literally, this is just, like, Forest to Hope looking assets. It's great that uh, bull borbs are confirmed in Pikmin 4, guys. I feel very Metroid Prime 4 by this right now. Like, uh, yeah, thanks Nintendo. Met Pikmin 4, it's coming, guys. Oh, okay, Nintendo, we, we always assumed you were going to make a Pikmin 4, Nintendo. We had no doubts in that, but... Uh, what, what's going to be... What, what, what's to look forward to? Like, uh, like I guess... Uh, Cool. <laughs> They're just like, hey guys, the game is coming. In 2023 though, that isn't that is a year away. I mean, to be fair, the Pikmin games usually aren't that huge in scope. Usually it's a few worlds. It's a lot of asset building, you know, and it's probably gonna use a lot of assets from three, I would assume. Um especially since it's on the same hardware, Pikmin 3 actually like still holds up um pretty well. Uh, despite releasing in 2012, well, maybe 2013, now that I think about it. It's almost 10, 10 years since Pikmin 3 came out. Holy crap. Um, but yeah, um, I'm, I'm pleasant, I'll, I'll, be, I'll, be, I'll be hopeful, I'll be hopeful. I mean, Pikmin really doesn't do wrong. I say that, but like, hey, Pikmin did come out, you know, the probably the quote unquote real Pikmin 4. Um, but yeah, I don't know, it just kind of... Good to look forward to. I'm looking forward to it, but I'm not excited yet. You know what I mean? Uh, I definitely could be in the future. I also made a new t-shirt. That is a, that's a nice t-shirt, Miyamoto. I like your t-shirt. Graphic design is my passion. There's a P for uh, everyone's favorite franchise, Pokemon, and it's got a nice little Pikmin in it. Graphic design is my passion, you know? And Miyamoto, your, your Pikmin are pretty cute, not gonna lie. Did you see how she grabbed that controller? Look at that! That is just the most unnatural way I think I've ever seen anyone pick up a Joy-Con. It was literally- I, I'm sorry, go back, I have to see that one more time. Okay, look at how she picks up the controller. This is not how anyone would pick up the controller. I don't care how cool the shot is. I don't care how cool the shot is, that just looked cursed. Yo! We got a freaking whatchamacallit, we got a freaking name confirmation of this chick. This is my favorite Ubisoft character. I want to see Lola in Smash. Gotta see it, we gotta get that. You know, it's such a casual market, man. Throw in that Just Dance representation in Smash. It'll be the Wii Fit Trainer too. Just throw in all the dabbing in the Fortnite dances. It'd be an awesome character, Smackerai. Can you survive the season of death? I have no freaking clue, man. I'll tell you how to survive this season of death. Big Macs. Big Macs, man. You eat a Big Mac every single day, and you somehow live to be as old as the queen. I have no clue why, but that's just the secret to life is processed foods. I guess it just gets absorbed into your body, and you become part of the meat that never goes bad. Also, shoot. If this is another freaking Harvest Moon game, I am going to scream. Death. 
Set vegetables. Ah! Yeah. I'm not even, not even mad. I'm, I'm just overstimulated. I don't know what it is about like the market right now, or like if this, this game is just like easy to make and people are just eating them up. Chill games are the way to go, I guess. Harvest Stella. Squeenix, what are you doing? I'm making Fortune Street too. Oh wow, they actually did. Real, they got news on Bayonetta three. I think it's really weird how they really hyped up Bayonetta and like a pre like a previous direct. Like I mean, really hyped up Bayonetta three, and now they're just kind of casually showing it. Like, I really wonder what that means. Like, they know it's kind of old news at this point that Bayonetta 3 is coming. I again, it's just kind of like, yes, Bayonetta 3. I'm sure it's going to be a great game when it comes out, but it's just kind of, kind of been there. Like, it's, it's just kind of there now, you know? I swear, like, these anime model creators probably have their life set for them. And it's like, uh, these anime models, these, like... Uncanny Valley anime models are all coming from some place, you know? Like, I feel like there's anime models done like, quote unquote, right? Like, in Smash Bros, where it's like, they're super polished, they're realizable, you know, humans. And then, there are all of these. Like, literally, all of these. They all just kind of look the, they, like, they came from the same factory, you know? Like, I feel, I feel like it's a little, uh, it's like an overstimulated market a little bit. I'm just saying. You know what I hate about Village? You wanna know what I hate most about Village? The name. Yes, literally the name. It's called, yeah, it's, it's Resident Evil 8, but it's freaking Village. It's, so it's not called Resident Evil 8. Like, literally, it's like, guys, have you ever played the 8th Resident Evil? No, but I played freaking Village. Oh my goodness, Crisis Qu Squinix, what are you doing not making f Never mind. Oh, uh, guys, look at Sephiroth, my favorite Smash Bros. character. He's got wings! It's chicken wings. Oh, guys, look at that. It's the freaking Final Fantasy thing. It's so cool, man. You know what I realized? There's been no Namco announcements this time around. You know, I've played so many of these kind of little games. Like, these are totally the kind of games that they gave out for free on the Xbox Live service so much back in the day. World Regeneration, what is this, freaking X-Men? Oh, there's Namco! I was wondering when we'd see the big N show up in a Nintendo Direct. The thing I do like about Namco's, like, anime games is that you know it's a freaking Namco game when you see it. <laughs> it's always so B-grade. It's kind of like, it's an uncanny valley that it's like, yeah, you know it's freaking Namco who named this game. It's kind of, I like it. I like Namco for that reason. Oh, look at that! Those are cute Legos! That's actually cute! Oh, look at that Lego. It actually kind of looks fun. Oh, yeah, dude. Look at that Mario freaking Kart. That looks like the greatest Mario Kart. I've always wanted to play as Goofy in Mario Kart. Wait. Fall Guys Season 2? Is that a different game than Fall Guys? Or is this literally just advertising that Fall Guys is getting an update? Cause that is like the laziest thing I've ever seen. It's Kirby Return to Dreamland. Kirby's Why? Dreamland Kirby's got the freaking weirdest Dreamasters. Okay, I I'm really trying to wrap my head around this art style. I think it's because they still have the source material of the Wii, and they still have to deal with the resolution of the Wii. If for 2000, I forgot what year it came out. I'm pretty sure it came out in like 2010 or sometime. You know, it, they gotta work with what they do, and I don't really know what this effect is really doing it, but I just, the original looks a little better to me. Speaking of the original, it's still on the Wii U eShop channel for 20, 20 bones. There is no doubt that this game is gonna be retail for 60. I don't know. There's always gonna be more content. That they add to the game that's like, oh yeah, it's totally justifiable for $60 when you could buy it on the Wii U for 20 but... Eh, I don't know. Oh, Wispy! That's sad! 
That you could see the pixels on this man's arm. It's a freaking tree. <laughs> I'm the Lorex and I speak for the trees. This tree does not need to be as sharp as it be. You know, I always do kind of think it's funny how Kirby does operate. Like, it's really not Nintendo that owns Kirby. It's just kind of... Hal does whatever they want, and sometimes they do some of the strangest things. Like, this... Hal Laboratory is one of those unhinged companies that everybody just assumes is Nintendo, but it's not. So, it's just like, one of these announcements is just... Kind of oddballish, but like totally understandable. It's just like it comes out of nowhere, but really doesn't. Nah. As part of Kirby, if Kirby is canonically had a 30th anniversary, does that mean Kirby is canonically 30 years old? It's these questions that keep me up at night. This next trailer will be our last announcement. Please last announcement. Oh boy, you better have some juicy content for me, Nintendo. Yeah, it's Breath of the Wild too. Ah, there's gonna be people excited for this. Oh, wait, 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 wait. It got a freaking name? Uh, I guess I never thought that it would even get a name. I guess Tears of the Kingdom. Maybe they're sad. Maybe they're sad because this game is taking too dang long to come out. <laughs> oh, I mean, ah, it's Zelda. I bet this is totally gonna be a Mario Galaxy 2 conundrum. Um, where they just, they make a really good sequel, but it's just not going to be, like, as talked about as the first one. It's probably just not gonna get really, like, acknowledged as much as the first one. I'm pretty sure Zelda Breath of the Wild is gonna be, like, heralded as, like, oh, one of those best games of all time, and Zelda Tears of the Kingdom is probably just gonna have that unfortunate fate of, like, just coming out after the first one on the console. It's just kind of a bummer that's how games work, but that's probably exactly going to happen. Mark my words. Like, if you look at Nintendo's past, Nintendo really doesn't do a lot of, like, direct-to-game-specific sequels. And usually, they're pretty good when they come out. Like, I would say Galaxy 2 is better than the original. Uh, not Nintendo, technically, but I would say Kirby Planet Robobot, another good example of it. Just a game that does the original, but better. Obviously, the original being Triple Deluxe. Um, but yeah, it's just having that advantage of already being on the console kind of already, like, gives the game a natural step up, but it just, people are going to always herald, like, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild as, like, one of the most revolutionary games of all time, and even if the sequel comes out, and even if it's even better than the first one, it's just not going to have that, like, same reception as the first one has, just because of the novelty, and it's just, it's this stad, like, standard that you really don't consider with the gaming industry, but it's totally there, and it's just, it's just kind of sad for games like, uh, Zelda Breath of the Wild 2, because there's probably a lot of work being put behind this game, but it's just, like, I don't really see that many people talking about it, I don't see people exciting about it, it's probably just gonna be another instance of, like, Mario Galaxy 2, for example, where it's just, like, is this great game that's gonna come out, and people are gonna talk about Galaxy more because that's what came out first on the console. Eh, it's just, like, I don't know. I, I I hope I hope that I hope that fate can be changed with this one. Who knows? Maybe I'm just a load of crap. Oh my goodness, a release date. Okay. Okay. Watch everybody say that this is going to be delayed again, but it's not. I feel like they're going to actually be true to their word this time around. I think that the game has been in development for so long that, yeah, I guess it, they, they have the goal. They need to put that goal for themselves to get it, you know, eventually released. Or else to get Metro Prime 4 to Oblivion. Actually, maybe that's what Bandai Namco is pulling their resources for. I don't know, Bandai Namco is a big company, so they're obviously working on a ton of things at once, like Squeenix. Shoutouts to Squeenix for always having a million projects at once, but Fortune Street 2 is never one of them. Thank you for watching. No, no, no. Thank you guys for watching this video. And actually, you know what? Thank you, Nintendo, too. Thank you for giving a nice, beautiful, compact way of letting us know about all of these Harvest Moon games coming out. That That's a very, very thoughtful thing. Th thanks, Nintendo. You, you have my appreciation. Make code name Steam, too.